Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, this video is about uh, trading RSI. The RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. The Relative Strength Index indicator is a very popular indicator, and we're going to discuss, uh, okay, how one can, uh, okay, make excellent trading decision uh, using uh, the RSI indicator. Trading uh, RSI, all right. The market principle that uh, govern all, almost all technical indicators, uh, is about the fact that uh, when a financial instrument, okay, is overvalued in relation to its true fair value, the financial instrument will correct itself and uh, bring the price back to its true value. So, for instance, uh, uh, you can see here the price pull back to this level here. If I draw a line here, we are using the RSI period 14, and uh, on the Bollinger Band that we have here is a Bollinger Band 50, 50, okay, 50, volatility 2, trading the RSI, okay? Now, suppose I, I put a line here, okay, so I'm going to put a horizontal line here, pay attention carefully here, okay, pay attention to that line, suppose, okay, the true value of American Express, the stock that we are looking at now, EPIC AXP, Alpha S Ray Papa, listed on a Dow 30. Suppose, yeah, pay attention. The true value of American Express is uh, here uh, at the level of uh, 64. Okay. All right. I'm not saying that this is the true value. I'm saying we suppose, suppose. It is sixty-four dollar. Okay. All right. So, if the true value of American Express is sixty-four, but the price, for one reason, went too far away from from sixty-four, which means uh, a bit more expensive than the true value. All right. Here you can see it went to sixty-seven. If the true value at that point in time for American Express is sixty-four. There is a high chance that the primary return back to its true value, which is 64 here. You can see that uh, very often, if you want to know where are the true value, very often the price will consolidate around the true value zone, okay, where there is a fair value. You see that there will be a consolidation there. That's just a technical guidelines. Nothing should stop traders to go to Google Finance, Yahoo Finance. Uh, to check the balance sheet, the cash flow, and uh, use a proper fundamental analysis, all right? But when we are talking, technically speaking, wherever we see the price consolidated for a long time, there is a kind of value there. So you can see that there was a consolidation in this session here. Can you see on your chart? Okay, let's uh, zoom into it, all right? Okay. So you can see in this zone here, there was a consolidation. Okay, the price was consolidating, was going horizontal. So whenever we see that on a chart, that's uh, technically speaking, there is a value there. We don't know whether it's the true value, but there is a kind of value there. Okay, that's why the price slowed down, or that's why the price acknowledges okay that level. Otherwise, it will just go through it. All right. So when a financial what we are saying to traders, our message is very clear that whenever you are using a trading system, a trading tool, or you are using a TSC, RSI Pro, or any other trading tool, market principle first. So the basic market principle that is true in this market is that when a financial instrument is overvalued in relation to its true fair value, it will return to its true fair value. So suppose the American Express true value is 64, and the price went all the way to 67, as you can see here, the price has a high chance to return back to it, fair value 64. But pay attention. The problem will start because you hear traders, or even on the internet, people talking about return to the mean, return to the mean. But one thing that was missing after observing uh, all the discussions is that the price will only return to the mean or return to a true value after a deviation if the true value is not increasing. Traders that are using 
our free proprietary tool that we call uh, critical price level. We know about a dynamic SMAMI July, which means if a financial instrument is dynamically bullish, it will be displaying a different SMAMI July. That's what we call a dynamic SMAMI July. The SMAMI July is the technical fair value of a financial instrument over a period of five years. But now, ladies and gentlemen, so if, for instance, all right, now the price going up in this session here, if the true value did not change, so the fundamentally speaking, the true value did not change, the sentiment did not change as such, but the price going down for one reason or another, there is a high chance that it will return back again to 64. This is just, okay, one example, all right? But if, for instance, the price going up in this session, as we see now, and if the, the true value also is increasing, Suppose the true value is here. The price does if the, the price does not have to return to the true value. So though the previous true value was here, a lot of traders will be expecting the true value <laughs> that the price will return to its true value, which was before 64. But they forget that the true value was increasing at the same time, which means company creating better product, gaining more market share, excellent management, global economic condition improving the true value of the financial instrument is increasing. So the price will not return to the previous true value because the true value is increasing. This is the basic market principle that governs all technical tools. If you are using TSCWSY008, TSCW24, or any other trading tool, and you miss the market principle, you can make a lot of mistakes. The market principle also will allow you to dictate whether there is a manipulation or a distortion. The market right now is full of a lot of distortion. And traders that understand the market principle will know that if there is a distortion, the market will correct itself and bring the price back to its fair value. All right, <laughs> okay. But now, talking about trading RSI, the RSI, ladies and gentlemen, just say this, I'm going to say this to you, maybe you never heard about this. We are the only people that mention this to traders. The RSI is almost equal to the Bollinger Band 50 volatility too. That's it. Nothing else. You can use different settings for your RSI on the hourly chart, on the four hour chart, on the daily chart, on the quarterly chart, on the yearly chart. The RSI is almost, not exactly, almost equal to the Bollinger Band 50, 50 volatility too. Look on this chart. When the RSI, whichever RSI you are using, is above 70, very often, sometimes there are a bit of uh, differences because of, uh, you know, the market. Very often, the price will also be either on the upper bound of Bollinger Band 50 or above it. That's all. So that, what I say to traders is that uh, we can use the Bollinger Band 50 instead of the RSI. I'm not saying to trade that we can't, the, the, the RSI, we don't need it. We need it. All we are trying to do here is to validate the RSI, highlighting another okay, characteristic of the RSI, so traders may use it more efficiently. That's all. It's no, we are not uh, devaluing the RSI. We are not uh, discounting okay, the validity of the RSI indicator because the definition of the RSI, RSI is comparing the, comparing the recent gain to the recent loss. So if the recent gains are higher than the recent loss, the price will be above the level of 50, which is the horizontal line here. That horizontal line represents the, the simple moving average 50 or the exponential moving average 50. No big difference. It represents a moving average 50. That the horizontal line here of the, of the RSI is either simple moving average 50 or moving average 50. We know that. So what the RSI is saying to us is that uh, when the recent gains are higher than the recent loss, the price will be above the moving average 50. Full stop. On the other hand, when the recent gains are lower than the recent loss, the price will be below the moving average 50. Simple. So the 50 level for the RSI is almost equal to the, all right. <laughs>
almost equal to the moving of the 50, either simple or exponential. On the other hand, when the RSI is above uh, 70, the price either at the bank or above the upper band, above the upper uh, when the RSI is above 70, the price either at the upper band or above the upper band. Sometimes you may see a bit of differences, but very often that's what we see. On the other hand, when the RSI is oversold below 30 level, the price also on the lower band or the Bollinger band 50, we are talking only about one particular Bollinger band 50 volatility too. There is a big difference between the RSI and the CCI. Though there are a bit of similarity, the similarity only happens when uh, you are using the CCI 50. In fact, you are using RSI. CCI period 50 is equal to RSI to a certain degree. All right? <laughs> so the RSI doesn't matter whether you are using 12, 24, 20, whichever you are using. You are using for that time frame you are on, all right, a Bollinger Band 50 volatility is true. If when the recent gains are higher than the recent loss, the price will be above a moving average 50. When the, the recent gains are lower than the recent loss, the price will be below the moving average 50. In fact, the moving average 50 is a powerful trading tool, as I put on our YouTube channel before. And as a GSTW24 traders, we use the Bollinger Band 50 volatility too. Now we are explaining to traders that uh, the similarity and uh, trading RSI, the thing that they need to know, the basic market principle that is governing every financial instrument, including the R every technical tool or in, in every uh, technical indicator, including the RSI, talking about trading RSI, is that when a financial instrument okay, has exceeded okay, uh, each fair value, but the fair value did not increase in the meantime, their, their financial instrument has a high chance to return to correct itself to its fair value. But if the financial instrument deviates the price move away from its fair value, its current fair value, but the current va fair value is also increasing while the price is increasing, the price does not have to return to the previous okay, fair value. I hope I explain myself to you and uh, you have understood okay the basic principle that govern all financial instrument to summarize the rsi is almost equal to uh, the Bollinger band 50 volatility too there are a bit of differences the cci 50 is is almost equal to the rsi but one should always use all technical tool in relation with the market principle and the basic market principle is the return to the mean. One should understand that the mistake that they are getting to is that they say CCA overbought or RSI is overbought and they start selling. Like here, you can see that the RSI period 14 that we are using here is above 70, but it remains above 70 for some time because, because, why? Because the, 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 the true value also was increasing. So we were support, we were thinking that 64. Then you see now if, if, the, if the true value is increasing, the trader that are selling or, or, or selling because the, the, the indicator is overbought are, are wrong because if the price deviate from the moving average 50, as you can see here, deviation for 50 equal to RSI above 70. Now, if the true value, which means you see the, the, the slope of the, 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 the moving of 50, is rising, you see, like this, and there is an increase in the current uh, true value of the financial instrument, the price will not return to the previous okay, <laughs> uh, true value. I hope you have enjoyed this video and have learned something from it in order to trade okay, the, C, the RSI indicator okay, like professional traders. This is about trading the RSI. Speak to you soon. If you want to purchase uh, the TS RSI Pro, you must go to www.dprotraders.com. Thank you for watching, and we will speak to you very soon.